A woman whose son died in the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School wants to make schools safer for kids around the country. She launched an initiative designed to help schools be proactive about student safety instead of reactive after something happens. Lindsay Ward explains how one local school is using it to keep students safe. The Burrell School District says they want to be proactive instead of reactive. They're implementing a program that they believe will prevent school shootings. It's a program that they're learning from a woman who lost her son in a school shooting. I went looking for a solution because I knew that what had happened to him was 100% preventable. Scarlett Lewis lost her son Jesse, a first grader, at Sandy Hook Elementary School in December 2012. He was six years old. She tells KDKA while she was at home in Newtown, Connecticut, she noticed a message her son wrote before he was murdered. It was just three words, nurturing, healing, and love. Words that inspired Lewis to create the Choose Love Enrichment Program. Learning how to have positive and healthy relationships, how to manage our emotions, how to be resilient to the issues that we all face. These are essential life skills and we're not born with them. We have to learn them. It was the first time in my 20 years that I felt like finally this was a solution. Carla Rowland is the Safe Schools Coordinator and Assistant High School Principal for the Borough School District. She says they're the first in the state to start the program. Instead of just hardening our schools, we are strengthening our people, and that, in my opinion, is where the power really is. We want to encourage um, empathy and forgiveness, and courage, and um, a willingness and a drive. The program begins when students are in pre K and ends when they graduate high school. It's already in schools across the U.S. and in other countries. Reporting in Westmoreland County, Lindsay Ward, KDK News.